This time, so in this video, we are looking at diet and exercise. So first of all, what makes a healthy diet? As a balanced diet consists of the correct amounts of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, fiber, and water. So carbohydrates release the energy you need to live and to build new cells. You also need small amounts of vitamins and minerals, otherwise you could suffer from deficiency diseases. Fats release energy and keep you warm. Protein is used for growth, cell repair and cell replacement. And then fiber is used to help with the digestive system. So if you don't have a balanced diet, then you will end up malnourished. Now, how much energy do we need? Now, this depends on a number of different things, as typically males need to take in more energy than females of a similar age. Teenagers also need more energy than a very elderly person. So the more exercise you do, the more food you need because you are burning up a lot of energy. And the temperature also affects how much energy you need. So in warmer countries, you need less food than in colder countries. There's also the metabolic rate. Metabolic rate is the rate at which chemical reactions occur. So the metabolic rate can vary from person to person. So generally men have a higher metabolic rate than women do, and that's because they have a higher proportion of muscle to fat in the body. People who do more exercise also have a higher metabolic rate because your metabolic rate goes up in exercise and it stays high for periods afterwards. Now metabolic rate can be altered by inherited factors. Now when you are younger, you also possess a higher metabolic rate and then your metabolism will decrease as you increase in age. Now there are many consequences of an unhealthy diet, as when you take in more energy than you use, this excess energy is stored as fat. Over time, you could become overweight or obese. Now many health problems can arise from obesity. These include arthritis, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure and heart disease. Now too much saturated fat can also increase your blood cholesterol levels. So eating too much salt can cause high blood pressure and heart problems. And when people eat too little, deficiency diseases can be caused from the lack of vitamins and minerals. Now in children, eating too little leads to poor growth and poor resistance to infection. So you can lose weight when the energy content in your food is lower than the energy that you're using in daily life. So the main ways to lose weight are reducing the amount of energy you consume and increasing the amount of energy you use by doing more exercise. So people who exercise regularly are usually more healthy than those who don't. And it's because exercise increases the amount of energy the body uses and decreases the amount stored as fat. It also builds muscle, which boosts your metabolic rate. Now, along with affecting your parents, inherited factors can also have a big impact on our health. So many inherited factors can affect our metabolic rate, which means some people can lose weight easier than others. So inherited factors can also affect the proportion of muscle to fat in the body. Inherited factors can also affect the risk of heart disease because they influence the amount of cholesterol that we have in our body. Now, everybody needs cholesterol for your cell membranes and to make vital hormones. However, there are two types of cholesterol. Now, one is healthy, yet the other one can cause health problems. Now, if you have the wrong balance of cholesterol, you have a higher risk of heart disease. Now, the way that your liver controls the cholesterol is an inherited factor, and 1 in 500 have conditions, which means they will always have a high cholesterol, no matter what they eat. However, for most people, just eating a balanced diet will limit the amount of bad cholesterol in the body. So thank you for watching this video, and see you soon. Bye.